Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom. I've got my weekly Walmart haul. I also stocked up on meat, and if you didn't know, I get most of my meat at the Fresh Market because they have it on sale for $2.99 a pound on Tuesdays. I find they sometimes switch it up. Um, I think like a couple times I've gone on Tuesdays and it wasn't on sale, but for the most part I try to go Tuesdays um, and stock up, and I do that about once a month. I don't always show you guys that, but I remembered that I did that, so I will show you my meat stock up after I share this Walmart haul. This haul was about $120. I'm gonna start on this side and work my way over here. So I did get some beer because my husband likes beer and we have people over for football and I just like to have a variety of different beer in the house. So I got this Blue Moon Share Pack. It's Ice Coffee Blonde Belgian White and Mango Wheat, which I think Matt will really like that. We needed some mouthwash, so I got this Tom's Wicked Fresh mouth Mouthwash in the Peppermint Wave for Matt and I. And for my son, I got this Hello Natural Watermelon Kids Fluoride Free Kids Mouthwash Rinse. I've been wanting to try these for a while, so I grabbed them today. I'm a big Dove fan, so and I'm also a huge wipes junkie. I just love trying different wipes. So I got these Baby Dove wipes, and I'll let you guys know how they are. I got these treats for my cat. They're the Purina Beyond Grain Free. I actually already opened them and gave her a few when I came home from grocery shopping and she really seemed to like them. I also got her the salmon flavored meaty snack sticks, which she really likes as well. Um, I love these. I always forget about them, but when I remember, I, I definitely pick them up. They're the extra toasty Cheez-Its. They are the best flavor that I've tried. I know we all have different tastes. I know some people love the white cheddar. Some people love the original. I really like the extra toasty, and my husband does too. And also, a few of you guys, and actually our friend Justin, has had told us to try these buffalo wing ones. So I thought I'd grab them and just put them out for football because we love wings, and I can imagine they're going to be really good. I got some grape tomatoes, some Sargento white uh, Vermont Sharp White Cheddar Slices for my husband's sandwiches. Some Sargento Pepper Jack Cheese Sticks for my husband. I needed cream of chicken soup because I'm actually making hash brown casserole tonight. I have these thawing out so I can make those. I also grabbed some shredded Parmesan cheese for pasta dishes or any kind of dishes where Parmesan is applicable. I love these Jamaican style beef patties. I like the spicy ones too, but I didn't see them. I love, obviously, real homemade Jamaican style beef patties. When I was young in college, I lived for a short period of time by this amazing Jamaican soul food restaurant and I fell in love with beef patties back then when I was like 18 with cocoa, warm cocoa bread. It was like one of my favorite things. So I get these every once in a while. It's like nostalgia and whenever I am in like Albany and I'm near a soul food place, I definitely am going to be getting some homemade beef patties for sure. I got the Stonyfield Organic Kids uh, Strawberry Banana Yogurt Pouches for Greggy. They've been out of these for the past couple weeks, so I've been getting the Dannon ones, but I really like them, and so does Grady. Um, I got a couple products that we've never tried before because here in upstate New York, we are fair game for snow pretty much the end of this month in October. When I was a kid, I remember many times going trick-or-treating and it was literally snowing. Um, so I got a couple things, sort of preventative things, that I wanted to try. A bunch of you guys had told me elderberry works really well for like immunity and immune health. So I got a bottle of these 50 mil elderberry like gummies. Never tried them before, gonna try them. And then I also grabbed these Zycam Cold Relief Medicated Fruit Drops. They're also like a gummy, and it says it shortens colds. So I again, just preventative type of thing, so hopefully they work. I also got some of these Simply Asia Japanese Ramen Noodles. They're literally what they say. Um, I find them to be a little bit more like meaty and hearty than like regular ramen, if that makes sense. And I like to use these in different noodle dishes. Um, I also can, you know, easily you can just use like regular spaghetti, which I grabbed as well. But I like to get these every once in a while. I also love this Bangkok peanut dipping sauce. I've loved this sauce for years. It's like a peanut butter I I don't know. It's definitely peanut butter based, but it's it says nutty and spicy with garlic, ginger, and lemongrass. It's just a very good, hearty 
sauce and you can use it for dipping or for an actual sauce. I got some flour tortillas because I want to do some beef enchiladas at some point in the next week or two. We needed triple A batteries for one of my son's toys. So I try and get the biggest one. And especially now going into the holiday season, he's going to get a lot of new toys. So I figured why not. Uh, an English cucumber because I make a veggie platter every Sunday with dip. Um, usually like ranch or some kind of dip for football. Some bananas for my smoothies next week. I got another bag of the Great Value Strawberry Banana Blend. I got, an, uh, I got one of these about three weeks ago. And it lasted me three weeks. So, And it makes sense because I feel like I go through about a pound of frozen fruit a week in my smoothies. And then I add fresh fruit in addition. Last week I added bananas, apples, and other different things. Um, but yeah, every three weeks it seems to be the case that I run out. So I grabbed a new one of those for my smoothies next week. I got a gallon of water for my coffee. Some ketchup, which we were almost out of. Spaghetti, like I mentioned, which I'll probably use for like spaghetti and meat sauce. I also might do a baked spaghetti. Um, which is really easy. I have a whole video on it. I'll link it below or you can look in my cooking playlist. I also got my vanilla almond, yo um, almond yogurt, almond milk for my smoothies. I do the 310 Nutrition smoothies. I actually have to order some more of that powder as well. But yeah, I really like this vanilla almond milk. Um, the Newman's Own Pizzas, I talked about these in last week's haul. They were really good. We actually had um, them for lunch one day on the weekend. So I got the Supreme, which they did not have last time, so I'm excited for that, and another pepperoni. And I think my plan is to use these for football. I actually cut up pizzas like really small. So rather than like eight slices, I'll cut them in 16, and it's sort of like finger food. Everybody seems to love them. Um, love it when I do that and especially when our friends with kids come pizzas just a no fail for kids I find just in my opinion that I've experienced so I just thought getting these would be great again for finger food a football to, to make the kids happy because the kids really aren't into like veggie platters and wings and stuff I find so I grabbed a couple more of those I got a big bag of Reese's because we are going to a Halloween party in about I think next week actually and I'm gonna make um, like little brownie mini cupcakes I don't know how to explain it like brownie like cupcake shaped brownies but mini and I'm gonna put one of these down in the center of them I do not know what those are called but you guys I'm sure know what I'm talking about so I got a big bag of those and whatever's left we will use for either trick-or-treating or you know just snack on them we love some Reese's I also got some Pure Leaf Honey Green Tea for Matt's lunches next week. I like to get him different little drinks every once in a while. I think that's everything. I don't think I missed anything. And now I'm going to share with you guys all the meat I got. So I grabbed two ground chuck beef. I grabbed two of the non-GMO boneless skinless chicken breast. And I grabbed a mild Italian sausage, a hot Italian sausage, and some peeled, cleaned, and deveined shrimp. So that is everything I stocked up on for meat. And I still have, there are chicken breasts, and these are older. I've got chicken breast, chicken thighs, chicken breast, Italian sausage, hot, and Italian sausage, sweet. And then in here, I have like pork butts that I use for pulled pork. And this is bacon, like slab bacon. There's breakfast sausage in here. Again, these are all older. And then I keep like our Blake's down here. I threw those pizzas in here. And I have like frozen shredded cheese down here. And then in the door, I've got English muffins, coconut shrimp from Trader Joe's that I have yet to make. I might use it as an appetizer for football. And then in the main fridge is all of our drinks. So we have like waters, beer, overflow juice, different sodas, seltzers. Um, and the bottom there's like juice boxes. It's just a variety of things. So when people come over, we always have plenty of options. All right, so this is a few days later. I usually film my grocery hauls like a week in advance before you guys see them, but this is all from Price Chopper. I specifically went there because they have a program. It's called the Advantage Card, and like you scan it every time you shop there, and the points I do not think expire. But anyways, they recently started like a point system, so every dollar you get points, and then they'll have specific items that give you like triple points or like maybe a certain item would be worth like 50 points for example but anyways I specifically went there because I had a I had a Catalina coupon 
for seven dollars off um, and I also had enough points for $5 off. So I actually got $12 off of my order and everything here only ended up being like $25 because of that like promotion and coupon. So a couple things are for my mom because we are headed to my mom's today. I'm filming this on a Sunday. She need some, she needed some of this round Italian bread for dinner tonight. So she asked me to pick up a fresh loaf and she also needed some romaine hearts so i picked up these two items for her and then i grabbed baby bella mushrooms for us they were on sale for a dollar 29 i got vienna bread which is like a hearty italian bread as well for us some smoothies for grady cabot cheese was on sale two for five i think or two for six so i got the bacon cheddar hickory smoke shredded cheese which i'm really excited for and then the new york extra sharp shredded cheese so these again they were either two for five or two for six entomans were on sale buy one get one free so actually i think i'll give this one to my mom so i got these this donut variety so it's plain chocolate crumb and cinnamon and then this raspberry danish like loaf twist thing and they were buy one get one so i'll uh, bring one or the other to my mom's tonight um, as like a dessert. We needed eggs, so I grabbed those. We needed celery. We needed more bananas. I got a red tomato for chicken salad sandwiches. We got some Gatorade. Matt and my, uh, my husband and Grady drank one while we were in the store, but this is the orange Gatorade. It was on sale as well for $5.49. Usually it's $7.99. And I also got some Wise White Cheddar Popcorn. So everything here ended up being $25, which I thought was great. And I'm going to share now my meal plan for the upcoming week. So meal plan for the upcoming week, Sunday the 13th through Saturday the 19th of October. One night I'm going to do the Olive Garden copycat recipe for the Zuppa Toscana in the crock pot. You can also make it on the stovetop. I do have both videos that I'll link down below, the crock pot version and the stovetop version, and we'll just have some Italian bread on the side. Uh, for my no meat night, I'm gonna do a veggie quiche and a salad. I'm gonna do creamy pork chops in the crock pot one night with rice and some veggies, and I'll make a little bit extra so I can have some to bring to work one day. I do have a video on this, I'll link it below. I'll link any quiche recipe I have down below as well. I'm going to do the chicken lettuce wraps. This is like a P.F. Chang's copycat with some sticky rice, and I'll link that video below as well. I'm also going to make my stuffed feta cheese turkey burgers. I don't serve them with a bun, so they're just like turkey burger patties. I'll do some glazed carrot and some orzo salad on the side. I'm pretty sure I have a video on the orzo salad, and I definitely have one on the turkey burgers. So I'll put that below as well. On Saturday the 19th, my son is going to my in-law's house for a few hours in the evening. So my husband and I are going to go out with some friends on a date night. And then, of course, I always have my freebie night, which is either leftovers, free, you know, kind of wing it and make whatever I feel like. Sometimes we'll order takeout. Sometimes we'll go to my parents' house. It just sort of depends on whatever is whatever we're in the mood for. But this is the meal plan for next week. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on Monday with a new video.